I really love doing public speaking training. It's one of my favorite topics. And I'll tell you a secret about why. The reason is I could come to a group of lawyers. I could come to a group of any professionals actually and do a public speaking training without any materials. I don't need any books. I don't need any handouts. I don't need any slides. I can simply say to you, and I could do this. I could say, okay, stand up. I'd like you to do a presentation about such and such a matter about your company, about yourself, about your product, whatever. And you, regardless of your language and regardless of your experience, you would then speak. And I would take notes. I call this the psychiatrist approach. I would take notes because you're going to be making a ton of mistakes. Believe me, it doesn't matter what language you do this in. You're going to make a ton of mistakes in terms of style, in content, in logic, lots and lots of mistakes. And then I can give you feedback. And then we do it again, and we do it again, and we do it again. It's only through systematic practice and repetition that you can experience systematic desensitization to speech anxiety while practically improving your skills. I can give you my book on public speaking, JJ McVeigh at Nichedonia.com. You're welcome to read it. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you because the theory is only 10% of your needs. The practice and the correction and the input my training, that's what you really need. And that's what's going to help you. So let's take a step back. A very, very simple first stage in order to make a good public speech would be to have the structure of I'll say, I'm saying, I've said. I can almost guarantee you when I approach lawyers in any country, the biggest mistake that they have is basically no introduction and no conclusion. They might say something rather silly like, this is my name, talk, 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 thank you. That's dreadful. There's no introduction, there's no conclusion. You have to spend two or three minutes at least saying what you're going to say. Then you need to be saying what you're saying. And then you need to summarize it about what you've said. It's extremely important to have a good, strong beginning, a good, powerful hook, some kind of element to catch their attention, maybe a provocation, a Duracell element, something like that. And then at the end, you need to have a strong ending. The very beginning and the very ending are what are going to be remembered. The middle bit is not as important. So whatever you do, don't forget to have an introduction and make it a jolly strong one. And don't forget to have a conclusion to wrap up what you've said. I'll say, I'm saying, I've said. That would be a first step in having a good structure. And then of course, we can make it more sophisticated by using different approaches to public speaking like Ida, Building Dreams, The Moon and Stars, and others. Thank you.